Okay, here is 47. So I already drew out what the book already has in it. I wanted to draw it out so that I could cross stuff off. Um, with the decreasing time algorithm, we're gonna start with the highest time. So we can start with E and that's two. And then we can also give G to person two. E, G, gone. Okay, once those are both done, we can do F, which will be two, and H. have to do A, B, C, D. Okay, so we're gonna give those all to person one. A. Then once A is complete, we can do B. Once B is complete, we can do C. Once D is complete, we can, or C is complete, we can do D. Okay, so this would be two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the total time This is A. For B, it says find an optimal schedule and the optimal finishing time. Okay, so for B, the optimal time, we're gonna set it up again, P1, P2. And I'm gonna start with A, B, C, They're all the shortest. And then I'm going to give E to person two and G to person two. And it's taking up the same amount of time. So now I can do this in any order. I'm going to give person one F just because of the alphabetical order. And then I'm going to give person two. H. And that means that our total time is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 minutes, or whatever the time thing is. Total time. 6. For C, we take 8 minus 6. Divide it by six, and we get one third. Or it says express it in a percent, so it would be um, thirty-three percent. 